Choose your fighter. Can you believe that a year ago today, these developers wanted to release this game in such a, I guess I would describe it as a bad state. Like early access wasn't even on their radar. They wanted to launch this as a full game. Well, I am glad to have been one of those playtesters that stopped them from actually going into full game mode because the game has come such a long way. Initially, when I first played this game, I had thought that it was just like a cheap, janky Rainbow Six type of game. But as the updates kept rolling out and rolling out and rolling out, I'm just like, what the hell? This might just be the best tactical CQC shooter on the market. Now I say that because for a while there, CQC Tactical Shooters was looking pretty bleak. Not too many games were like that. I mean, I thought that Ready or Not was supposed to be that game, but it just didn't happen. Like for me, I honestly thought that Zero Hour was going to be like a one and done kind of game for the channel. Like I just cover it once and then move on to the next game, but it's honestly been a surprise for me. I mean, it really has come a long way. This game has gone from initially being a cheap, janky, more down to earth Rainbow Six Siege without abilities to what it is today. And we'll definitely get into more of that in just a second, but back then, it was a game that I would have probably not recommended were it not for its dirt cheap price and that it was going into early access instead of becoming a full game if it had been a game that was like 30 to 40 dollars i probably would not have even recommended or even covered it on the channel because honestly at that price it just doesn't work the game was in such a janky state at that time that i would not have recommended this game from 30 to 40 dollars just ain't no way especially if it was launching as a full game i could only imagine what it would have been like if they had actually released it as a full game and not into early access to be honest i think the game probably would have flopped but because the game is dirt cheap it was really hard for me to really complain about the inherent flaws with the game because you know you get what you paid for right currently the game is sitting at about 12 bucks american but i think i remember it launching like 50 percent off on launch so really it was like five bucks sure it had a lot of issues but it's really hard for me to complain when it's only like five bucks and paired with the fact that we convinced the developers not to go into full game launch and stick with early access so that they could keep improving the game as time goes on i decided to give this game a you know, a try. So I made a video about it and it actually hit off pretty well. I was actually surprised at how well that video did. And I came to realize that this gaming company was actually one of the first gaming companies to come out of Bangladesh, or at least I haven't seen too many. But a majority of the people that were viewing this video were actually from Bangladesh. So that's pretty cool. But again, like I made this video, I wasn't thinking that I was going to come back to this game, you know, but just seeing the sheer amount of content that was coming out for such a dirt cheap price was just honestly shocking to me. Like it honestly felt like I was stealing this game because of the sheer amount of content that was coming out like there were several improvements to the game like refining mechanics fixing a lot of issues they came out with more maps along with more mechanics brand new animations new guns a whole co-op mode randomly generated items inside of a map to make the map feel different every time that you try to play it which is really cool and kind of surprising at the same time because i was expecting like a truck to be somewhere and it wasn't there and i was like oh no there's no truck there oh god and mind you this was only done under a year and they're still going to be adding more stuff with operation magna that's going to be coming out in the 24th that update is going to bring in two big maps cutscenes for the co-op mode four new weapons and a plethora of new mechanics for the game so i mean the game's still still building itself for a dirt cheap price and that's great but i just kind of hope that they actually fix a lot of the things that are in the game currently before they decide to actually move on to the next thing to give an example of what i mean by that i would like them to take a second look at the first person animations because there are some animations that are i guess the right word would be unfinished particularly with the deagle and the scar when you double tap to do a fast reload the animations are kind of scuffed like when you do the first tap it acts like it's about to go into a regular reload but then you do the second tap and it snaps to the fast reload like this is an issue that i've been talking about for a while now but i feel like it's not going to get fixed because for those of you that don't know a majority of their animations were done by a third party yeah they freelanced a lot of their works so that they can stay competitive none of them were really done in-house which is probably why it's not getting solved right away if they could bring back some of those third party people or get them themselves an animator to help fix up those issues that would be great and speaking of animations they really need to redo the third person animations because they still just look kind of goofy if i'm being honest they just need like a dedicated animation team to really rework the way that everything looks but i'm not sure if, you know this company can actually afford something like that but yeah another thing that they need to fix is the skeleton that the animation is on because the skeleton from what i understand was made by a dude like way before the game was actually released and they're still using that same skeleton that feels freaking janky like the animations look a lot better but it's still on a skeleton that just feels janky you know like when you're moving left to right you can tell that your body is dragging and if you try to like look up and down you can see that there's like a limit
admit, like, if there's anything that you notice about Zero Hours maps is that there's a bunch of, like, vertical staircases that circle around, and the model just doesn't look far enough upwards or downwards so that I can actually shoot at people that are further down or at the top, and that's really annoying. Like, they definitely need to bring someone on board that knows how to do, like, skeleton work to make the gameplay feel so much better. Like, if they could do that, oh my god, oh, I'd play this a lot more. Like, the gameplay isn't terrible. I'd probably classify it more as tolerable. Like, yeah, there's a jankiness and it's kind of annoying, but uh, I could work with it, you know? But they could definitely still improve it. I really hope that they actually get somebody to improve that, because that would be really, really good. If they made the gameplay like Ready or Not or Tragedy Sandstorms, I think that this game would be really top tier. Another thing that I would like them to improve is just the AI for the co-op mode. The AI is complete BS most of the time. Like, they barely even give me time to, like, yell at them, and they'll just pop me right there. It's like, I might as well just go on guns blazing, but if I do, then I'm just gonna get penalized, so it's like, what the hell? The AI for co-op just seriously needs an overhaul. Also, another thing, I noticed that some of the AI is, like, client-side, like, why is that? Like, I'll get shot by an AI, and then one of my buddies is like, where'd you get shot from? I'll be like, he's right there. It's like, where? Like, you're literally staring at him. You don't see him, he's right there. And it turns out that that AI is client-side, so he can't actually see him, even though the AI is actually shooting the crap out of him. And I really dislike how AI kind of just, like, spawns, like, outside of the map, and then pushes in from behind. Like, that's freaking annoying. Like, they should only spawn inside of the area that you're pushing into, not outside. Like, the only way that I would accept them being outside is if they actually ran outside by themselves, not spawning out there, because that's just annoying. So yeah, AI definitely just needs an overhaul. That's all I really got to say about that. Uh, another thing that I would like them to fix, and I feel like this should be a lot easier for them to fix, is just keyboard placement. Because I thought that it was really stupid how night vision goggles is the same button as the grenade button. Yeah, nothing could go wrong there, right? I'm someone who plays without a HUD, so it's kind of like a guessing game. Let's see, is the night vision goggles on three or four? Clicks three, presses G, lobs a grenade, Sh Presses 4, presses G, doesn't work, presses 4 again, presses G, now the goggles go on, jeez. Some of the controls in here are kind of atrocious, I'll be honest. Like, they honestly need to remap some of these, or let us edit it, because I don't think there's actually an edit button, or if there is, I don't remember. But yeah, those are just some of the things that they seriously need to fix before they actually push on to newer stuff. But a lot of you guys have been asking me what they should actually push on to, if they actually do want to do newer stuff, and honestly, I think the next step for this game would probably be customization. Like, they already kind of started it with the weapons but now they need to start it with the character models make them fully customizable but don't make them look overly goofy you know like i don't want to freaking see a unicorn helmet or some stupid shit like that they could also push on to friendly ai like have your own friendly SWAT team but again ai is not something that's like simple you know that's like a, a whole beast that they would have to do like i still want them to rework the enemy ai and asking them to do the friendly ai oh boy that's not gonna be easy for them i guess another step for this game would probably be mods have players make their own maps and customize the way that people look i guess that would definitely solidify their longevity because the community would just be making content for days another thing is game modes it would be really nice to actually see new game modes to this game especially for the multiplayer for the co-op too i guess and those are just a couple of things that i think would would go great with this game but you let me know what you want to see in this game sorry for the background noise there's a uh, construction going on outside of my house unfortunately i don't have control over that i'm hoping that next week they'll probably be done by then but for now we're just gonna have to deal with it but yeah you let me know what you think what do you want for the future of this game again i want them to fix a lot of things that are currently in it but that's just me so what are your thoughts let me know down in the comments below because i'm gonna get the hell up out of here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like zero hour then be sure to like up the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more of my content if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps or become a member click on the join button at the bottom there any donation helps it will be very much appreciated and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye